Hello my friends and welcome to another edition of Jeff's Oil Paintings. Uh, for today I wanted to extract the mountain section from my first tutorial. Uh, so for those of you who are struggling with mountains this is just dealing with the mountain, how I go about it, uh, how I uh, put my underpaint on and how I highlight and shadow etc. So if you're struggling with mountains this is a great video for you. Uh, it will uh, set you on the right path. So I hope you enjoy. I'll paint along with me and I'll talk to you at the end. Have fun. All right, now we're going to put a mountain in here. So for that, I'm going to use my mountain mix, which I have in the palette right here. So we're just going to pull some mountain mix out. Just cut, you know, pull it flat, cut off a little bit, and we'll put our shape in. So I'm thinking today we're going to have one here, so maybe we'll come up there. So make it crooked. Don't go straight. Okay. And then maybe we'll do something like this. There. And again, the, the big thing with this is to not have a pointy top. You know, keep it a little jagged. I like to put these knife marks like here because that gives you a fresh place to pull your highlight, which is kind of nice. So this will come over like this, down, maybe to here. A little more paint. And then just bring that off and off like that. And then maybe this one will circle on to here. Come up a little bit higher than the other one. Another thing is to try and make sure your peaks are not all the same. Yeah, different heights. And then uh, maybe here. next step, you want to scrape as much paint off as possible. That will make the final step of the highlighting so much easier. So you want to get this paint out. So just take your knife, scrape, oops, that's all right, that happens, no problems. There we go. Get all that paint off of there. I like to wipe my knife knife off as I do it. Oops. Again, we'll put another little peak there. There we go. See? Happy accident. Get all this paint off. All right. And we'll take that brush that we uh, blended with. I'm just going to wipe it off. and pull this paint out. We want to pull the paint out, removes the excess paint. So we'll come over here, pull, this way, pull that paint down. And wipe. Get that excess paint off. Because it'll make your highlighting so much easier when you get all that paint off your, your mountain. So pull it down so that we go from a darker color down to a lighter color. And if it's nice and gradual, you'll get the effect of the mist without having to put any mist in, which is what you want. So once you pull that down, if you just kind of do this, right, really pull that other paint off. There's no method to it, just pull it down. It'll all be covered. And mist this out just by doing this. Just circular strokes. Maybe want this a little further. Pull that out. That liquid white allows us to pull that paint 
there we go. Now we have a nice big mountain hanging out in the sky. All right. So, now that I got that done, the next thing I want to do is I still have a lot of paint there. So at this point, I like to take the shop towel or a paper towel. Shop towel won't leave little stringy things all over the place, which is the nice thing about them. But I just take the shop towel and then I have to wipe this surface carefully. So come up here. So you can see how much paint is still on there. So I like to come by here and wipe it off. It's going to get that extra liquid white that's on there off of there. All the extra mountain color. Just be careful. Don't go up into your sky. And you don't have to go right to the edge, but just get the majority of it off. And don't worry about the lines. We'll re-blend all this again. We're just trying to get this paint off. There we go. Yeah, I know it looks funky. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll come back with our brush and we'll just blend this out again to get rid of all those paper towel marks. It'll all be covered up anyways. But again, it's going to make the next next part so much easier. Okay, very good. All right. Yeah, now that all that paint's off of there, it's going to make it much easier to highlight it. So that's that's the main reason for doing it. Now that I'm here, I see something I want to fix. Here's one thing you can do. I don't like I don't like this sharp perch here, so I'm going to change it. Bring it a little bit out like that. I like that better. That's the cool thing about painting you, oils. You can make little changes like that. And that's okay if it's a little darker. It's on the it's on the shadow side anyways. Very good. All right. So uh, highlighting this, I'm, ju I'm just going to use some white. I, I will probably put a touch of the red in it just because of the you know the pink in the mountains. So just a little bit. So I'm going to pull this out flat with that. And I'll probably do a combination of my small knife and my larger knife. I prefer I prefer the larger knife. Um, to me it's more balanced you know when you set it down but uh, you know this is a smaller canvas it's 16 by 20 so sometimes it's harder to fit in here. So anyways pull that out nice and flat. Got a little pink in there. Okay we're just going to cut across just get a little roll of paint. Doesn't have to be a lot of paint. Some people are, it depends on what, what's, what you're comfortable with. Uh, some people prefer, you know, a little thicker roll. Some people like a thinner roll. Whatever works for you. With any advice I give, whatever works for you. That That's the most important thing. Um, if you can paint with a butter knife, paint with a butter knife. <laughs> All right, so let's come up here. Uh, maybe we'll start um, back on this peak over here. So what I like to do, hold your knife gently, almost so it's like a swivel, and it can go either way. You're going to have it so gently, I drop it quite often, because I have it so gently, and this paint is so thick that it'll grab. So you gotta got to like have a little bit of uh, grip on it, but uh, you just want to go slowly. Um, I know, you know, Bob Ross, you watch Bob Ross, and he does these long sweeping strokes, and that's fine if you can do that. And I like to do that further down the mountain, but for beginners, I found when I teach, it's much easier to do short strokes, just little short choppy type strokes to get, at least to get started, to feel that little break in the paint. And if you do that, um, I think you'll be more successful. Once you get pretty comfortable with that you're, and you're able to do those long ones, that's fine too. I also find the short choppy strokes 
will give you more cragglies. You know, you wherever there's a little break and you start again, that dark area is a little rock section. It doesn't look like it's one swoop. It looks like there's many jagged rocks going up and down. So anyways, so you want to touch just above the dark. We don't want to have any dark sticking out here. So I know it's hard to see. I don't want to get my head in the way here. But come up here and just touch there. And we're just going to gently, gently pull. As you can see, see how that paint falls right off. It's a very thick paint. Come up to this point. Just, just kiss, just letting that paint touch. We don't want so much the blade as much until we get towards the end. At these beginning strokes, you really just want the paint to touch. And if you do that, you can see it really just breaks right off very nicely. And think about what you're doing. And I don't see these like thick spots here. I like that. Don't feel like you got to smush those out. Sometimes they're very cool. It gives a lot of texture to your mountain. And when the light shines on it, you actually do get a shadow behind it. So it's kind of cool. If you if you go over them a little too much, you can you can smear it up. So if you do go over, just real gently, not much, just barely touch it. But I tell you what, I, I kind of like them when they sit up like that. It looks kind of neat. So we're going to come back, but I want to come over here first. Wipe my knife off a little bit to get any of that darker paint. So we're going to come over here. So we'll start at this point. Let me get that little dab of paint off of there. Right here. Bring this one right over into that, like that. Go slow. I can't express that enough. Take your time when you're moving that knife. Just don't, you know, take your time. If you can do it fast, hey, knock your socks off. But the majority of the people are going to need to go a little bit slower. It gives you more control. So, yeah, don't, don't rush through it. Take your time when you're painting these things. So now I'm going to come up to this next little knife point that I put. And again, very slow. Oops, got to cover that end. See? Now, I might come back. See, I stopped short. Maybe I come right here, leaving a little dark here. And maybe my next one, I start there. And now these dark areas are crevices. So we're going to have this. This is going to spill over into this, like so. Okay? So we'll keep working our way down. Oops. Again, this one's going to be, we're going to pull this one up and this one this way. As we get lower on the mountain, you want to more level out your strokes. Up here, they're a little straight, then here, then here. So as we get a little lower, we're going to flatten those out a little bit. Something like Alright, so let's go back up here and pull that paint out flat again. It's a little roll. Oh, let's see here. We're going to do this one maybe. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to put one more here. And again, I like to keep no straight lines. You know, try not to do split your mountain in half, you know, highlight, shadow. Try, try and break it up. Um, it is uh, more natural. Okay. So I'm going to come on this side. And we're going to have a little bit of a curl into here. Like 
like that. And we'll see. Mountains are like puzzles, and I've said this to many of you before. Mountains are like puzzles. It's like you, you put the pieces together, but you could decide the size of the pieces and where they go. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I enjoy painting them. They are fun, that's for sure. Maybe this will just kind of come out this way. Something like that. And step back. That's the big thing. You got to step back from your painting. Um, it's important. That way you can see everything a little bit better. I want to come in here and blend this out a little bit. We're going to cover it anyways, but I just wanted to bring it down a little bit. Good enough. Okay. So now I'm going to start messing with the with the, the, the shadow side. And for the shadow side, probably just going to do a little blue and white. Uh, generally, that is good enough. So I'll come up here and take a little bit of that phthalo blue and a little white. <sighs> An experiment. Leave it, you know, again, leave it marbled. Usually when I do my... When I do my uh, shadows, um, you know, I'll do the shadows, then I like to come back and even add more uh, colors, more darks, and, and you'll see as we go here. So let's get rolling here. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is come over here and get a little roll. And again, leave the, the different color variations. So we're going to come up to this one. And I just start at the top and I, I follow the outline, is what I try and do. And I want to bring this one down into this. So. Actually, I might even bring it a little under it. So we'll start here. Don't worry about if you touch this. We can fix that. So we're just going to gently... The shadow side is very forgiving. Don't sweat your shadow side. Because it's the shadow. You can't, you can't even see it. So don't, really, don't worry about your shadows as much. Just kind of put those in. And then here, I kind of like to... Bring that in and up a little bit. You'll bring in this and let those little white things stay. They look cool. So if you get those little white bits and pieces up there, just little high points on that side. So I'm not going to do too much more to that. Then I'll take the small edge of the knife for more of these tighter spots. Or use the small knife itself. Add some dark. Something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here now, and I, now that I have most of this, I have to come in and drizzle some dark through here. So I just got some mountain mix, basically. And just gently, just let it barely touch. Here, not a lot. Just a few, See, just a few spots, some deep crevices. Um, and you just want to graze them. Smaller knife is better for this. But something like that. And then I also like to come back and take some white, like on the heel of my knife. Just a little bit. Like that. And you can drizzle some of this over. Just like, you know, there's a little bit of sunlight. Oops. Just curving over a wee bit. See that? Not too much. But just a little bit here and there. And if you don't like it, you can just rub it away. Just get some, some more of that blue and just take it right away. See that? So, yeah, it's so forgiving over here. So, you yeah, don't let it 
you can take away stuff if you think it's too much. Very easy to do. And then it's also cool, I'm going to get my smaller brush, my smaller knife, sorry. And then you can also do the same with white. You can drizzle just a hair of some high spots, maybe. Just go real careful, barely touch. Not much. That's probably about all I do. Just a little bit. Just gives it a lot of uh, different looks. It's not the same flat kind of color. So now we're going to go to this side. Again, add a little white to that blue. And a little more. And again, leave even marbled. A nice marbly shade. So you got white, blue, you got a little bit of everything in there. So over here, we're going to start here and just follow this outline. Cut right under that. And don't worry about the hole. Leave the holes. The holes are good. The holes are just more dark. Kind of bringing that into that. And we'll play back and forth here. Oops, a little heavy. Where's that a wee bit? There we go. There. See a little accident? Turns happy. And again, we just play back and forth this into the shadow. So we got the sun coming and then our shadow here. So we just kind of play back and forth between the two. Always step back and take a look. Step back. I don't like this. And again, just going back and forth, playing with it. Maybe this comes down like that. And again, getting flatter as we get lower here. A little more shadow. dark there. We can fix it. Come back with a little white. Again, you can just keep going and going and going until a mountain eats up your whole canvas. I've done it many times. <laughs> we'll have to stop this one. Right, very good. A little white over here. Extend that down just a wee bit. And we're going to blend most of this out anyway. So. 
couple little bumps. All right. So we got this last little peak over here. Let's highlight this guy over here or put the shadow on him. So let's see here. Again, I like to follow just the top line. I don't worry about the rest of it. Uh, just follow that. It's really all you got to do. Again, that shadow side is so forgiving. Um, you don't need much there and it can be sloppy. So that's what I like about it. And you can clean this edge a little bit. And again, we can run those together. Something like that. And then you can, sometimes I like to come through, not too much, but if you want it to blend a little bit, this coming into this, you can certainly do that. Like that. Not too much. Just maybe where they come together a wee bit. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to go back with just a little bit of dark. I'm going to use that mountain mix. Just a little bit of that mountain. Just barely any on your knife. Barely. And then you can go anywhere in there where there's blue. And, and just drop a little drizzle. Oops, that was not what you wanted. I'll fix that. But just a little bit here and there. And I'll go up and fix this. See, you need about how forgiving they are up here. You just scrape it right away. <laughs> Anything can be fixed in this technique, really. But again, just drizzling a little bit of dark here and there. Just keep the brush or your knife moving. Just a wee bit. Here we go. All right. Now take a step back and take a look. Again, you got to take a step back. It's so important. Um, very good. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Uh, paint, enjoy, and have fun. Uh, please keep your eyes open for more tutorials and content coming from me on all my platforms. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and TikTok at Jeff's Oil Painting. So check me out, follow, like, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. All the best.